today I just wanted to share more of a creative fun look um, I wanted to use just one palette so it wasn't too expensive and it's a really affordable palette actually with great bright colours in it um, I was kind of inspired slightly by Geisha, a little bit by Punk so hopefully you enjoy and let me know if there's anything else you want to see so I'm starting with MAC Studio Sculpt Foundation just applying this all with my fingers because I don't mind if it's thicker bouncing the damp beauty blender across this is the LA Girl concealer which is similar to MAC Select cover up blending again with the damp beauty blender MAC paint pot in soft ochre all over the lid I used MAC Cherry Lip Pencil to get the shape. It's not recommended for the eye area, but it's it's fine as long as you're careful, you're not doing it too close to the eyes. If you do have sensitive eyes, anything with a lot of red pigment can irritate it, so just be cautious. I'm not recommending it for everyone, but if you're feeling daring and you don't mind taking a risk, give it a go. You could also use a red eyeshadow with a damp angle brush, that's a good alternative if you're a bit scared of the pencil. Starting off with the orange from the Morphe Brushes 35B Colour Glam Palette. The pencil looks a little bit pink so orange is going to knock out the pink in the red pencil then going in with the red in the palette just to deepen it up a little bit that's a good thing about the palette is you can be greedy there's a lot of colors to choose from using a flat edge definer and a bit of concealer just to clean up the edges for the liner I use the Maybelline Black Gel Liner and a Zoeva Angle Brush. I'm visually just following my bottom lash line so it doesn't make it look like it's pulling my eyes downwards. It can be quite tricky with hooded eyes doing liner but have a little bit of a play. The lighter matte orange from the palette feel free to have a play with colours you don't have to use this combination I just wanted to try and go for one that you wouldn't normally do try not to play it safe I have done this look with more subtle shade and glitter on the lid on a performer before so you can make it a bit more glamorous deepening it up with the matte black from the palette then using a mixture of all the colours just underneath the eyes to tie it all together. To take down the redness in the waterline I'm using MAC Chromographic Pencil in NW15 and NC20 and then a bit of Bajor Beautiful Mascara. Then for concealer, I'm using the RCMA Colour Process Foundation Palette in VK11. This one's good for TV work if you want something that's going to work with HD filming. Set it all with a Real Techniques blusher brush. I'm combing my brows up into place. Good old Ardell Demi Wispy Lashes. Starting off by filling out the brows a bit with Omega Eyeshadow from MAC and an angle brush and then adding a bit more definition with Fling Brow Pencil. I'm using Groundwork Paint Pot, the one that you use on your eye, but as a cream contour with a Zoeva 128 Cream Cheek Brush. Now this one's great because it's really long wearing but it, it really moulds into the skin a bit more rather than sitting on the top surface. I've used this a lot for more stage and theatre production. Conditioner because it gives you that really glossy wet highlight but without looking sparkly or glittery. I've used this a lot um, more for like fashion, photo shoots. With hindsight I'd have probably preferred it a little bit more nude but instead I went for MAC 
Cherry Lip Liner, Illamasqua Lipstick and Scandal and MAC Pro Lip Mix in Nude. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you picked up a few little tips and techniques. See you again soon. Bye!